Hello everybody, and welcome back to a Let's Play Pokemon Red. Now, if you remember where I left you last time, we were wondering what's in Professor Oak's parcel. That sounded wrong. Well, let's find out. Oh, Ash, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. Oh, you can tell, can you? Yep, there it is, Oak's parcel. Now, the big secret. This is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Oh, okay. Well, that's not exciting. What this is? It's Gary! Yay! He's back. Now, he's basically here because Professor Oak wants us to do a little job. He's invented a high tech encyclopedia for Pokemon. And basically, uh, what, we, what we're going to get is a Pokedex. What, what happens when we meet a Pokemon from now on is we will be able to store information about that Pokemon in this Pokedex. And there's 150 Pokemon in the world, so is, it will take you a while to find every Pokemon. And you can't just do it with one game either. So again, I won't be seeing every Pokemon in the game because I need Pokemon Blue. So um, that's... Well, Again, that's another reason why I won't be catching all the Pokemon either. Along with, it takes far too long. Uh, this is Gary's sister. He's she's she's lent us a town map, which is uh, nice of her. And yes, I finally embark on my journey to become a Pokemon master. It's about freaking time. Um. So, first things first. Let's uh, defeat this pigeon. Oh, Pidgey. Crap, I'm low on health. I hope it doesn't want to kill me. Nah, it wants to kill me. I'm not gonna let it. But then again, I've lost my first two, well, almost lost my first two battles, so, um. You know, anything might happen. Comedy will ensue. Anyway, for fir first things first, we need some Pokeballs. But before we even do that, we've got to heal up. So I'm going to heal up, and then I'll meet you outside the Pokemon. And welcome back. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you about this uh, city, Viridian City, is up here, just past that fence, there is a Pokemon Gym. I'll be telling you what they are for later when we go in our first gym. But the gym in this city is locked, so you won't be able to do anything there. Don't worry about it, you'll be able to go in there later. I'm going to buy um, five Pokeballs. I won't be using them all right away, but sometimes you meet a Pokemon that you just need to catch for a specific job maybe, and it's always uh, better to have, uh, have Pokeballs and not need them than need them and not have them. But before we go and catch a specific Pokemon I'd like to have early in the game, a secret potion, which is always handy. The, you can't get potions in this city, so always better to have them. Now, I'm gonna. There's a patch of grass here which has a, a, a rare Pokemon, really, in here that I really want, so I'm gonna cut the video here, and when I come back, I should have it, or should be in battle with it at least. So I'll see you then. And welcome back. Now, as you'll see, I have just found myself a Spearow. I have leveled up in the process. Now, the reason I wanted a Spearow is because, uh, first of all, I need a Pokemon who can fly. My choices at that moment are down to Spearow or Pidgey. Uh, I don't like Pidgey. Pidgey's a bit weak for me. So instead, I'm going to hopefully catch a Spearow without dying. So, uh, wish me luck, everybody. Ouch. Yeah. Three rumbles. One, two, three. Ah, oh, we've caught it. Good. So now we have a Spearow. Spearow is much more powerful than Pidgey. That's something that's, that's important. And it also gets a powerful attack later on, which Pidgey doesn't get. So we will be training that um, straight away, hopefully. Now, there's, there's a certain person that we need to meet as well. I'm just going to heal up quickly. There's a 
a certain person uh, who we need to meet up who is near where we just were um, and we need to have a quick battle with him because we need to show our dominance obviously being being manly and everything we need to be the number one trainer in the world we need to take on all newcomers and school them in the art of Pokemon and yep yeah, there he is I almost forgot about this hey Ash you're going to the Pokemon League forget it you probably don't have any badges the guard won't let you through by the way did your Pokemon get any stronger and then the second battle ensues this will be a regular occurrence throughout the game now he's got a Pidgey and it's level 9 Christ um, and all you can do is uh, tackle him um, well, I'm going to Elite Seed as well just in case there you go Elite Seed now good thing about Elite Seed it will uh, take life away from him every turn and give it to me now he's trying to sand attack to lower my accuracy so I'm gonna growl to lower his attack so every time he uses gust on me it's not gonna do as much yeah so he only did three there so that way I'm gonna be able to uh, survive I think um, you should you should know what his next Pokemon will be, um, given he's only got two. Now this is where the problems hit. Um, he's lowered my accuracy, so tackle probably won't hit as much now. Down to twelve. Yeah, starting to miss now, which is, which, which sucks. And he's starting to hit. Now the problem for me is Leet Seed has terrible accuracy, so his next Pokemon, Charmander. Um, doubt I'll be able to seed him. Leveled up at least. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to switch Pokemon here just to show you. I'm going to bring in Spearow. Now Charmander's level 8, Spearow's level 5 so he's got the advantage straight away but any damage I can do on Charmander now will help when I have to bring in uh, Bulbasaur. Let's see how much damage this does. Ooh, ow, eight. So, uh, yeah, he's um, probably going to kick Spearow's ass here. Oh, crap. Come on, Spearow. Don't die on me. Now, to be honest, he's, he's done well. And then I can bring Bulbasaur in to uh, finish him off. Ooh. See, see, so close. Yet so far. Uh, Charmander still doesn't have any fire moves, which is uh, beneficial because a fire move would just kick our ass. And he's down. So Bulbasaur will get a lot of experience there again. And now we are done with Viridian City. Hooray, finally. Okay, so I am going to pause after this and uh, heal, heal up at the Pokemon Center and then we'll be back on our journey. See you in a bit. And welcome back. Um, so now we have beaten Gary again. Uh, we've been to Viridian City. We've got other Pokemon we want. Now we must continue. And we're going to continue north because that's the only place we can go. Now, north of here is a place called Viridian Forest, and it is filled with a hell of a lot of bug Pokemon. I uh, didn't mean to do that. And the reason why I caught Spearow is because flying type Pokemon are strong against bug types. So Spearow should be able to get through a lot of this with ease. Now, there are quite a few battles in here. Um, I'm probably not going to show them all. Uh, just because it takes too long. And there's uh, a few items we can get as well. Uh, there's one up here, which is a Pokeball. Already got a few, so don't really need that yet. Uh, see if we can pick up a random Pokemon. I'm running out of time, so I'll get through as much as I can. 
Um, he's a battler, so I don't have time to battle him, but we'll give Spiro a quick go uh, before I cut. Uh, this is Weedle. Weedle is a poison type. I think it's a bug type as well. That would make sense. Let's have a look. Yeah, that took a load. See how just that's the reason why I wanted Spiro mainly. But yes, uh, in the next episode we will be going through Viridian Forest and hopefully uh, getting out of here. And um, I better save. So this is Upstart DJ, and I'm hoping you'll join me in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Red. See you later, guys. <laughs>